Loadout drops have massively changed in Warzone 2, but don't worry. Stick around until the end of the video, and I'll tell you all the ways that you can access your loadout. Gone are the days of grouping up together, splitting the cash, and buying your loadout as a team, as Activision are forcing you to try something a bit different. The first way to access your loadout is by completing a stronghold. Strongholds are AI-controlled locations that spawn after the first ring closes in on the map. I think there's around 70 locations that these can spawn, but there's only three that spawn after the ring closes in. Strongholds are actually massively underrated, as not only can they provide you with your loadout but some even provide you with a permanent uav on your location it does come with a risk though you're not the only one trying to take over these strongholds when you enter they're going to be filled with ai controlled enemies and you'd actually be surprised by how tough they are when you're not prepared add to the fact that you're going to be giving away your location as well when you do take down these ai enemies and it does make it super risky the reward is worth it though as when you've eliminated all the threats and defused the bomb you're given a few cheeky rewards but more importantly access to your loadout an extra bonus here too is you'll be given access to a key that gives you access to the black sites on a map and these are basically the stronghold on steroids as the cash and equipment awards are unreal but the enemies are much more plentiful and they mean business add to this the two other teams that completed the stronghold and gained access to the key the black site will also be competing against you and this is pretty tough i mean roll the clip of me dying as this happens the second and easiest option is to take advantage of the buy stations these stations let you access your primary weapon for the low price of five thousand dollars but there is a catch you don't gain access to your perks, it's just simply your primary weapon. Still, not bad when you're in a pinch and you need a more reliable gun. The third and final option is the classic loadout drops that happen all across the map. Yes, they were previously in Warzone before, but now everyone has access to these loadout drops. They're not designated to your team, which makes them a super hot zone for combat. Still, I'm not going to lie, I'm always baited to them for my sweet, sweet loadout drop, even if I know there's a full squad heading that way. I'm actually a massive fan of these changes. I think it makes you work a little bit harder for your loadout in comparison to previous. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out this one where I show you how to fix not being able to invite your friends to Warzone 2.